Okay, the next thing we're going to talk about are notes and note taking um, and some tools to help you guys organize yourselves. Um, on the project guide, again, you're going to go down to where it says taking notes, need some help getting organized. So let note sheets help. Figure out what type of source you are using. Click on the appropriate link below to download your copy now. Most of you are going to be using databases because I've we've sort of designed it for you to um, on this guide to use databases and plus databases as we know now from the videos you watched are more credible sources than websites can be. All right, so you're going to click on this notes from a database link here, and it's just going to open a PDF and. Um, this allows you to take that source citation from the database article, put it into MLA format right here. So author last name, first name, the title of the article, the original source of the article in italics, etc. All right. Under that, you're going to put um, any direct quotes that you use so you keep track of what information comes from what sources, paraphrases, and your own ideas. So how do you want to incorporate this research, these ideas, into your paper? All right, so that's a note sheet. Once you've compiled note sheets, you then want to put your work cited page together. So you could either do this from scratch, which is hard because of the formatting, or you could use a tool called EasyBib. Um, EasyBib is an awesome way to organize your information. You are given the option up here of different styles. We obviously use the MLA format. And then it's going to tell you website, book, newspaper, journal, database. So if you click on the database tab, um, it's going to walk you through step by step what it's going to ask you questions. So it's going to prompt you for this information. Um, and so you just have to pick the one that, um, the type of source that you're using. Most of you are going to be using either, probably either magazine articles or newspaper articles, depending on what type of source you've found using the databases. So let's just say a newspaper article for now. And then it's going to go through step by step. It's going to ask you the article title. So you do have to still do some work, but the end result, and I'm not going to go through this completely now, but the end result is going to be a beautifully formatted, perfectly formatted works cited page. Now, I also want to let you guys know that if you use Google Drive, there's an add-on in Google Drive, an EasyBib add-on. So if you go into Drive, if you guys you guys should all have Drive. You have student accounts, so if you would like your DR student Google information, please see me. I have all of that information. Or you can use your own personal Google account. If you go to Create, Document. Um, now, I already have the EasyBib add-on. It's called, called EasyBib Bibliography Creator. If you don't have it, um, you just need to add it, and I can walk you through that. If you go to Get Add-ons, EasyBib will be listed. It happens to be right here. Instead of saying Manage, it will say Free, like this one it says Free. You're just going to click it, and then it will be added on to your, um, your Google Doc. All right, so then it'll be under, under Add-ons. You'll go to EasyBib Creator, um, Manage Bibliography, and this handy little cite a source column box to the right will show up. And it's sort of an abbreviated version of the full easybib.com website, but it will literally compile your bibliography as you go. All right, so let's see. Um, this is just a really quick example. NewYorkTimes.com, no results can be found. What? Well, that's a bad example. Um, let's see. Let's cite the easy bib. Whoops. 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 I'm clicking too quickly here. All right. So I was quick clicking a little too fast and getting a little too excited about this stuff. Um, I actually just copied and pasted the easybib.com website into the box. I clicked search, and then this automatically comes up. If I click select, add bibliography to doc, it will go just by itself, beautifully formatted. All right, so you guys would do the same thing under journal articles with your database articles that you find. Or if you find books in our collection, you can put the book. It's going to ask you for the title or the ISBN number of the book, which can be found on the inside title page, um, or other keywords. Okay, so that's sort of the overview of EasyBib. 
Um, once you're done, you can save it as a, you would a regular, well, it's going to automatically save, but you could print it as a regular Works Cited document, and you're, you're good to go. It's so super easy, and um, I think you guys will find it much easier than having to format it on your own.